Starters up, the light is on. Red Javelin attempting to rear in barrier five. Away they go now. Sent to gamble, lost it by about two lengths, and one of the first away was Prad Napper with Mystery Tycoon and Morvan Warrior. Real equity coming across to lead now as they come down the straight. Mr. Raku goes up wide from Red Javelin. Then Ursa Dream wide out Parsimo from Gavin John at the winning post with 1900 to go. And the leader, Real Equity. Real Equity, the three are on and he's lightweight. Leads the way from Parsimo going up four deep out of the straight from Mr. Raku, Morvan Warrior. Then Prad Napper, Ursa Dream from Red Javelin off the rails now from Mystery Tycoon, Gavin John. A length of Laudanum sent to Gamble. Cambridge Star, Greenville's Pago, Vite Falu uh, with the last two, Mirror Magic and Newcastle Waters. Parsimo's gone to the lead now at the 16 by two, Real Equity. Two, Mr. Raku outside of Prad Napper, one and a half, Morvan Warrior. Two, Ursa Dream, one, two on the outside, Red Javel on the rails, Mystery Tycoon, uh, one and a quarter to Gavin John, sent to Gamble, Laudanum, Mirror Magic are on the inside, Cambridge Star from Vite Falu, Greenville's Pago. Mirror Magic second last and Newcastle Waters last about 15 from the leader at the 1200 uh, it's Parsimo by two real equity one Mr. Racku and a half Prad Napper Ursa Dream going forward from Morvan Warrior Gavin John uh, two to uh, Red Javelin racing outside of Mystery Tycoon uh, Vite Falu improving from Laudanum one and a half to Sent to Gamble Greenville's Pago Cambridge Star Newcastle Waters and Mirror Magic drops out last they race along 900 to go and Parsimo in front by three Three quarters, Ursa Dream and a half, Real Equity. Mr. Raku, Gavin John from Pradnapa, Morvan Warrior. Red Javelin taken out three wide, edging closer now. He's about four lengths off the lead. A length and a half to Mystery Tycoon. Laudanum, Vite Falu, Mirror Magic, Greenville's Pago. Newcastle Waters sent to Gamble and Cambridge Star. A line of three, four fifty to go. Pass them over, Ursa Dream and Mr. Raku. Right on their hammer is Red Javelin going up five wide. Behind him, Laudanum, then Prad Napper, followed by Real Equity and in game behind them on the inside, Mystery Tycoon, but Red Javelin, 2.50 to go dashed clear, to Mr. Raku from Laudanum, Real Equity followed by Prad Napper, but 100 to go and Red Javelin raced away by three lengths, Real Equity, Laudanum Mr. Raku, Mirror Magic coming from nowhere, but Red Javelin wins it easily, three lengths from Real Equity, Mirror Magic flew home to snatch third money a photo fourth, Laudanum, Mr. Raku and Pradnapper from Newcastle Waters wide. Then Mystery Tycoon Ursa Dreamer, followed by Parsimo Greenville's Pago, sent to Gamble, Gavin John, Morvan Warrior, Beat Fellow, and Cambridge Star. Fellow racegoers, welcome once again to Ascot. The GA Towton Cup honours the late GA Towton, affectionately known as King George, in racing circles because of his six Perth Cup winners as an owner and trainer and the wi winning rider of Wandering Willie in the, in the 1892 Perth Cup. This race is a traditional lead-up race to our Healthways Perth Cup to be held in January the 1. I would like to introduce to you Mr Charles Grant who is, who is presenting the trophy to the winners. Mr Grant's wife Amy is the granddaughter of G.A. Towton and in his memory they donate this trophy each year. Unfortunately Mrs Grant is unable to be with us today. Ladies and gentlemen Mr Charles Grant. Thanks very much. Chairman, Mr Warren, members of the committee, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of my wife and all of the Towton family, I'd like to sincerely thank the club for naming this race after their late grandfather. George Towton's father, Henry, 
arrived in Western Australia in August 1842, when he was just 16 years of age. He went to work in the Gingin area for a Mr Moore, after whom the Moore River is named. Later, Henry became the owner of the No Place Inn, a hotel situated in Murray Street, near King Street. It was later known as the Bedford, and today the site is occupied by the Prince's Hotel. The inn provided accommodation for travellers and also had a very good facilities for the stabling of horses. It was here young George Towton spent a lot of his time studying and admiring the many different types of horses visiting the hotel. By the time he was 13, he was a very accomplished horseman. In 1892, 100 years ago, George won the third of, of his six Perth Cups with Wandering Willie, perhaps his best horse and certainly his favourite. I am sure George Towton would have admired the winner of today's race and I have much pleasure on behalf of my wife to present the George Towton Trophy to the owners of Red Javelin. Thank you. On behalf of my wife, I'd like to present the trophy to one of the owners, Mr. Hazelby. Mr. Pearson, Mr. Grant, members, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for this uh, wonderful trophy. We're thrilled to become part of the tradition of, um, of this great race. Um, this time last year I was on the side of a hill 800 kilometres from Perth and I heard the last three quarters of the race broadcast on the ABC uh, with, the, with its resulting win. Uh, it was a great thrill but you can't being here, beat being here trackside. Uh, on behalf of the owners, thanks to Kevin Lever for a wonderful preparation for this race, bringing the horse up from 1,800 metres, and uh, thanks to Ian Albuino for a masterful ride. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd now like to present the whip to the winning jockey, Ian Albuino. I think you will all agree with me, it was a very masterful ride, and I'm sure that you will also agree that Ian is one of the tops in Western Australia and certainly in Australia. Thanks again, Ian. I'd like to thank the Towtons for presenting this trophy today. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Kevin Lever firstly for a wonderful job he's done with this horse. Everybody keeps saying what a wonderful ride, what a wonderful ride every time I ride the horse, but it's very easy to ride good horses like uh, Red Javelin. I'd like to thank the owners, uh, the wonderful people, and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to ride such a great horse. And I'm sure that Rev Red Javelin will go on and really make a big name for himself in this state. Thank you.